Hey y'all, I wanted to make a video on something that's been on my heart for the past couple of days. Um, and that's been reestablishing my faith in Jesus Christ. Um, I recently ordered a new uh, Bible and a Bible study um, book that will help me um, relearn the lessons that God has presented to us on this earth. Um, and the reason why I felt so strongly about this lately was because of there's come a point in my life where now all the emotions that I've held since middle school is just now hitting me um, really hard. Um, and I didn't know, I don't know how to cope with those emotions. Um, and I, and I'm scared to like tell people, tell some of my friends because I felt like it would have burdened them for, um, me telling them how I actually feel. And so I've become really, um, strong in suppressing those emotions and and it it came to a point where now it's really just hurting my mental state and my physical state um and my emotional state um and so i wanted to reassert my faith in jesus because he's always been a resource for me and i've just never um, took the time to take advantage of of his scripture of his word um, I never took the time to really dig deep into what he has to, to say for me and so I'm asking the Lord to now water and nurture and fertilize my my mustard seed of a faith so that I eventually will have uh, the faith of a big giant mustard tree. Um, you know, all throughout middle school and high school and even now, like I've been bullied all my life. I've been bullied how I look and how um, um, in my physical body. I've come to terms with the person that I am to be. And I would never change anything about it. But it definitely hurt when I think about the times when people would call me fat. Even my own, some of my own family who would say those things. And I didn't share with people how I felt because of that feeling of I'm burdening someone. And so I've... Uh, I've come now where I've met people in my life who I feel like or just here or not just here they are um they are kind of just using me where I I've entered their life and I've allowed them to enter mine but they use me and then I'm, and then they, they just spit me out like a piece of gum. And I re I recently uh, was listening to a, a sermon by Pastor Jake's, um, Bishop T.D. Jake's daughter. And in her sermon, she was talking about allowing God speak to those people who are not for me that they manifest that to me um, to reveal their real intentions of what they have with me. And so I'm asking God now to do the same thing for me where the people that have been in my life and are in my life currently to reveal their true intentions for what they have for me because I'm trying to move on another level of life. 
another level of uh, spirituality, another level of um, uh, of happiness, and I cannot um, hold on to people in my life who aren't going to help me pursue that goal. Um, and it, it took me, it has taken me almost six years to just come to this realization. Because now it really just hurt my mental, mental and physical. Um, yeah. Like I can officially say that I've been depressed for years because I've suppressed these emotions. And I've allowed people to enter my life and use me. And it hurts. It hurts so bad. And so now I wanted to rely on God. Rely on Jesus. To help me go through these emotions so that I could heal my myself so that I could be um, happy there's this one verse that is, is one of my favorite verses it's Psalms 35 and it says weeping may endure for the night but happiness shall come in the morning and I've preach that to myself I have said that every single morning because although this depression is here for the now this too shall pass and joy shall come in the morning in the next morning in the next couple months maybe even years but I know it's gonna come and so I want to really reassert my faith in Jesus and that he'll help heal my body help heal my emotions, help um, um, heal my spirituality. And I'm, I, I want his help in help discern the real rocks in my life to to block people who aren't for me to just leave my life because I don't need those people right now because I always think about like if I were to leave one day or even pass away how many people would actually care about my presence and the number in my head makes me sad all the time because I don't know how many people I actually think really care about me. The people that do though, I'm so grateful for. And if they're watching, they know exactly who they are because they reached out to me to see how I was doing emotionally. They actually cared for my um, physical state and my mental state. And I can only count that number on my with the fingers on my hands because there's not a lot of people that really do care for me I believe and so my first prayer that I, I wrote down in my journal um, to restart my walk with Jesus I wrote um, Heavenly Father I'm going to put my trust in you, that you will bless my life through your word. That I will, I will have the peace and serenity in you. As I begin this walk, teach me what needs to be taught. Guide me on your path of righteousness and allow me to gain the wisdom from your word, Lord. As you said in Psalms 35, weeping endureth for a night, but rejoicing shall come in the morning. Your word shall give me happiness, Lord. 
not declare today that you be entered into my life because I don't want to hurt no more I want to leave this depression I have so many things to work on I'm just glad that I haven't resorted to drinking I have resorted to smoking marijuana because of all the anxiety that I felt it would keep me awake up at night and I would be awake till two three four o'clock in the morning and I would wake up very tired and to for me to be able to go to sleep effectively I would smoke so that I could fall asleep and I necessarily didn't don't really like to smoke recreationally but it did help with my anxiety in terms of going to sleep and not allowing me to be awake all hours of the night. But I want to move on. I want I want to rely on his word to help heal my anxiety. And I'm going to put my faith in Jesus that he will do that. And I know he will do that. I just have to hold on strong on this this walk with Jesus on this journey that I'm about to embark on and I'm excited for that because I know I will heal and I will see happiness in the morning but this has been my life um, this is how I feel currently um, and it just feels good to now come to terms with how I'm feeling because I can now start that healing process and I'm ready I'm ready